Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today is going to be a little quick tip on how to create your own color palettes uh, with nature or any other kind of photograph that you want and how to keep them into your color palette settings. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and switch from the color wheel to the color palette sets and then you're going to go ahead and click this little edit color set button and then we're going to and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to go ahead and duplicate the standard color set so just go ahead and duplicate the current settings and then you can rename this palette whatever you'd like so i'm going to go ahead and just name it um Midnight palette or something. It doesn't have to be named Midnight palette, but I can't think of anything else. So then after that, you're going to go ahead and click OK. And now here's your Midnight palette. So what you're going to do, or at least this is the tricky part, is you're going to get rid of all of these colors in this palette here. And how you're going to do that is just click Delete Color and keep deleting all the colors within this palette until it's completely empty. All right, and now that all the colors are gone, we're gonna go ahead and start creating our color palettes. So you're gonna go ahead and find a random image on Google or maybe hijack one of your best friend's drawings or something and scan it. <laughs> I wouldn't say hijack your best friend's drawing and do that, but make sure you have uh, their full on permission in order to do so. I'm gonna go ahead and bring, or enlarge in and bring this down here. I'm gonna click okay, which will take a minute because my computer's slow. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to filter. Simmer on, shimmy on down to effect, and then you're going to go ahead and press mosaic. And then when you click on mosaic, it'll show you like a very, very blurred image of the image, of course. And what you're going to do is you're going to just bring all that up to like a hundred. Just, just bring it up to a hundred until you're able to see these little boxes here. Or you can make it even bigger to see even more of the little little boxes here. And that is how you're able to get the colors out of the image. But how do you save these colors? You can save them how uh, save them typically by clicking one of the colors in the box if you can see any of them. And then you're going to go ahead and bring your mouse down here to this little drop plus sign thing and then you're gonna just go ahead and add the color and then you're gonna do the same thing with all the other colors but just make sure that you select different colors before you add them of course that way you don't keep adding the same shade over and over again how to learn that the hard way And you just keep going until you're satisfied, until you have all the colors that you need to work with. Doesn't have to be all of them, however, I'm taking all of them because why not? All right. And then if you want to, you can even import a completely different color palette if you'd want. Like whether it's created material, downloaded material, or anything like that. However, I didn't really download any of the material, which is why I'm doing this video now. And then you can do this, obviously, with any other photo. If you are interested in doing it with any other photo, we can do it with this photo if we wanted. And then just continue on doing the same process. Go ahead and mosaic it. Turn it up to 100, past 100. And then boom, color palette. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my nature palette, which is something that I created prior to this video. And you can go ahead and just add all these bright, pretty tones and 
just all these beautiful colors that are coming together and then you can just use them however you want to but if you do plan on using another artist's um, color palette I'd highly recommend asking them permission before doing so just in case you never really know all right and that's how you create color palettes based off of photographs and other artists artwork if you like that tutorial and you want to check out the rest of my videos or check out my first uh, tutorial ever on this channel on how to ink your work with one tool then that will be in the, in the, then that will be in the link in the description below other than that if you like this video go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content and if you like this video press the like button and if you didn't like this video press dislike i don't really care engagement is engagement have a wonderful day afternoon or evening and shalom